Hello and welcome to Yoga by the Bay with Erin from beautiful Sarasota, Florida. If you are watching these videos and are enjoying them, please subscribe. That way you'll be notified when I do release new videos. Today we are talking about the gift of yoga. So grab your mat and let's see what this gift is all about. start on our backs. So let's lay down, come into a comfortable position, open your palms, and take inventory. Take inventory of what you are feeling in your body. Take inventory of the areas in your body that are maybe feeling a little stiff, maybe need some breath sent to them and do just that. Send your breath to the areas of your body that are calling for it. Nice deep inhales and exhales. Breathe into those spaces and try your best to remove the blockages that are there. That's what yoga is about. That's the gift. We are removing the blockages of energy that we create. Yoga helps us to breathe right through them. Let's gently bring your knees in for a little hug. Start to maybe Create a circle with the tops of your knees, flexing your toes, tucking your belly button in, feeling your entire lower back as it comes in contact with the earth below you. Reversing, reverse direction of that circle. And again, make sure all the areas of your lower back are coming in contact with the surface below you. and then meet in the center and start bringing those knees forward and back, bringing them in towards your chest, flex your toes, and then push them away from you, extend your arms out. Do that a few times. And then slowly start to bring some movement. So you're starting to rock back and forth, rock back and forth, eventually coming to a seated position. Once you're in that seated position, take your left knee and place it in the center of your mat and then walk your right foot over. Place your right hand behind your right hip, extend your left hand out forward. Sit up nice and tall so you've got a nice lengthened spine here. Fill that spine with your breath as you inhale and as you exhale, turn, face your heart towards the right side, take the elbow, hook that knee and draw the knee in towards your torso. Press at the same time your right hip down towards the mat. You wanna feel a lengthening of the outer band of this right thigh. Maybe place your right hand behind you, gaze towards the back of your mat and breathe into the space. Breathe into any blockages. Notice this tree behind me. You can see the roots. They're coming in all different directions. They're coming down, they're going up. They're holding the blockages. That's what we do in our body. We wanna have a strong foundation. Give this a nice deep breath. And then very slowly, we're going to switch sides. So take the right knee, place it in the center of your mat, walk your left foot over that. Left hand goes behind your left hip, extend your right hand forward. Give this a nice deep breath, fill that spine, and as you exhale, the elbow hooks to the knee, facing your heart to the left, bringing your left hand to the back of the mat, maybe glazing, gazing, 
just like that tree behind me. See how those roots are distorted. They have blockages. Think of that. It's just a metaphor. So we create the same thing in the energy pathways of our body. We want to release those roots, those blockages. One breath here. And then very slowly, come back to center. Extend your legs out in front of you. Coming into a staff pose, we're going to flex your toes, sit up nice and tall, extend your hands up to the sky. Fill that spine with your breath, and then very slowly hinge forward, reaching the fingertips towards the toes, coming into any position that serves you. You can have your hands on the mat, you can reach them towards your toes, you can bind them around your feet. Just breathe into this pose. You can even bend your knees and feel your body respond to your breath. So as you're inhaling and exhaling and sending the breath to the spaces in your body that are calling for it, notice how quickly your body responds. Notice how quickly it starts to soften. One breath here, and then rise up. And as you do, take your right knee and bend it. Draw it in towards your torso. Flex the toes of your left foot. On an inhale, reach those hands to the sky. As you exhale, we're gonna hinge forward again. Take the right arm, extend it in front of the right knee. Bend the elbow and draw that knee in towards your torso. Left hand, wrap it all the way behind you. See if you can find your right hand, clasp it. So as you inhale, lunge over that left leg. As you exhale, see if you can compress that knee in towards your torso as you draw your nose towards your toes. Breathing here into the space. Removing and relaxing any blockages. One more breath and then rise up and switch sides. So extend the right leg forward, bend your left knee into the torso. Sit up nice and tall, flex the toes of your right foot, reach those hands up to the sky. Give this a nice deep breath. And then as you exhale, hinge forward. Left arm in front of left knee, bend the elbow, draw the knee in. Wrap the right hand towards the back, maybe clasp your fingertips. So we've got a nice bind here, tucking that left knee in towards your torso. As you inhale, lengthen over the right leg. On the exhale, draw the nose towards the toes. So we're hinging forward, not, not rounding down. Breathing into the space. Removing those blockages. We don't want to be that twisted tree that's right behind me. One more breath and then very gently release. We're gonna come into a tabletop. So make sure your palms are wide open. A lot of space between your fingers. Plant them on the mat under your hands. Knees are under your hips. Bring your gaze down, belly button's tucked in. As you inhale, drop the belly, gaze comes forward. As you exhale, curl your spine, gaze between knees. Press the mat away. Let's do this cow-cat motion a few times. Send your breath, send your breath. One more round. And then come into your neutral tabletop position. Tuck your toes under. So give me a nice deep inhale here. And as you exhale, lift your knees hovering there. Send your breath into this space that your body is holding. On the exhale, bring your chest to the top of your thighs. Keep your head to the mat. Keeping those knees generously bent as you come into your crouching tiger. One nice breath here, and then make your way to a downward dog. So as you're coming into your downward dog, see what you can do about doing your best to keep your knees lengthened. Keep your hips drawing towards the mat. Keep your head, your hips drawing towards the sky. Your head dipping to the mat. Send 
your breath to the body, the areas that are calling for it, and breathe into that pose. Remove those blockages so we can be energetic beings filled with positive energy just flowing from us. As you inhale, lift your right leg up. As you exhale, bring your right knee towards your nose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right knee towards your right elbow. Shift your weight forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right knee towards your left elbow. Switch and twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right foot to the top of the mat between your hands. Slowly rise up to crescent pose. Keep your back heel lifted. Keep your knee stacked over your ankle. Open your beautiful heart and bring your gaze forward. Keeping your torso straight up and down, extend your left hand forward, reach your right hand back. Inhale, lengthen and enliven that spine with your breath. Exhale, gently turn, face your heart to the right, gaze towards the back of the mat, torso straight up and down. As you take your next breath, bring both hands to the sky, gaze comes forward. And then on the exhale, gently bring that left knee back to the mat, untucking your toes. Inhale, reach through your fingertips. Exhale, bring your palms together. Take your left hand, bring it to the mat, reach your right hand, lift it to the sky. Breathing here in the space. Allow the breath to flow to the areas. Draw your awareness inward. Give this a breath and extend your hand and your gaze to the back of the mat. Allow your breath to flow. Draw that awareness inward. One breath here. And then that right hand comes back to the top of the mat to the outside of your right foot. Tuck your left toes under. Lift your left knee off the mat and then bring yourself back into downward facing dog. Fill the space your dog holds with your breath. And then inhale, your left foot up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Give it a twist. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat between your hands. Make your way slowly to a crescent, keeping your torso lifted, hips are forward, back heel is up, heart is open. Yoga teaches us to open our heart, remove those blockages, and go through life with this abundance of positivity flowing through us, positive energy. So let's extend your right hand forward, reach your left hand back, give your spine a nice deep inhale, and then gently go to face the left with your heart. Maybe glance towards the back of your mat. Allow your breath to fill the space your body is creating. And then inhale, both hands up to the sky. As you exhale, gently bring that right knee back to the mat and untuck your toes. Inhale, reach through those fingertips and then bring your right hand down, extend your left hand up to that sky. Breathe into the space and allow that energy to flow through you. Allow the blockages to dissipate as your breath comes to it. Give this one more breath and then extend that left hand and gaze to the back of the mat. We want to feel the peace that we are capable of when we remove those blockages. One more breath 
and then bring that hand back to the top of the mat. Tuck your right toes under, lift your right knee off the mat and come back into your downward dog. Fill your spine with your breath. As you inhale, rise up on your toes. As you exhale, bend your hips towards your heels and then walk to the top of your mat. Coming to a hip distance forward fold, bend your knees and allow your head to be heavy. Maybe grab opposite elbow with hand and start to sway side to side. Those burdens, those blockages that we hold a lot of times we feel the weight on our shoulders. So do what you can to let them go. Understand they don't serve you. As you inhale, release your hands. As you exhale, slowly come up, very slowly, one vertebrae at a time. And then come into a standing pose and reach your hands up to the sky. Bring your palms together and exhale through heart center. Coming into a mountain pose. So let's stand up in your mountain pose. Grab a strong foundation. Place the big toes to the mat. Reach to the pinky toes. All four corners of your feet are grounded down towards the earth. Open your palms. We are meant to come into life to experience it and just be. So stand in your mountain pose. Be ready as life presents itself in front of you. We don't want to attach. We don't want to create any barriers or blockages. We just want to experience life and then be there for the very next moment. So let's inhale those arms all the way up to the sky. As you exhale, hinge from your hips, swan dive forward. Inhale, place your hands on your shins. On the exhale, all in one breath, hands go to the mat, walk right foot, left foot back, lower all the way down. Next inhale, you're pressing into your hands, opening your heart, and on the exhale, come into your downward dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale, let go. Inhale, rise up on your toes. Exhale, hips to heels, and either walk or hop to the top of your mat. As you get there, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold and then rise all the way to standing. Reach your hands to the sky and through heart center. Pause there. We're generating heat to remove these blockages. So let's inhale those arms up. As you exhale, let it flow, come down. Inhale, hands on shins, halfway lift, all one breath. Exhale, hands on the mat. Walk your right, your left foot back lower all the way down. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, downward dog. Take an inhale. Release what is getting in your way for peace on the exhale. And then inhale, rise up on your toes, hips towards your heels. Walk or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, those hands to the sky and through heart center. Are we burning those blockages down? Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Place your hands, walk or hop and lower down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, downward dog. Take a pause, take a breath, and then rise up on your toes as you inhale, hips to heels, either walk or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. This time we're rising into 
our chair pose. So shift your hips towards your heels, shift your weight towards your heels, lift those piggies off the mat, open your heart, bring your hands up. Hold and breathe here. Reach through your fingertips as you inhale. Bring your palms together on the exhale. Then take your left elbow to the outside of your right knee, press to your palms to turn and face your heart to the right side. Breathe in this space, hold here. Allow the breath to fill the space your body is holding. Removing those blockages, knowing that peace and love are just on the other side of those blockages that we create. Don't be that twisted tree behind me. Give this a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, reach and rise those hands up to the sky. Come back into your chair. One inhale through those fingertips. Exhale, palms together. And then your elbow goes to the outside of the knee as you press into your palms. Breathing into this pose, filling the space with your breath. Yoga teaches us to connect the mind with the body, to look inward. One breath here, and then gently come back into that chair. Give this a nice deep inhale, and a forward fold on the exhale. And then root and rise, come all the way to standing, reach your hands to the sky, and exhale through heart center. Pause here. Take a moment, catch your breath, and then inhale those arms up. On the exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, hands on shins, halfway lift. Exhale, hands on the mat, walk or hop back, and lower down. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, downward dog breathe into the space that your body is holding take a moment take that inventory has have things shifted do you notice any changes you're generating heat you're drawing your awareness inward that's all yoga is all of our work is from the inside, not the outside. So let's inhale your right foot up. As you exhale, bring your right foot to the top of the mat, drop your back heel, rise up to warrior two. So with warrior two, your knee is stacked over your ankle, your back heel is down, your hands, they're reaching in opposite directions, bring your gaze forward. Fill this space. Bring your gaze to your right hand. Specifically, bring your gaze to your right middle finger. Realize that you can train your brain. So when your brain, your mind, reminds you, remind, reminds you of something negative that maybe happened in your life, or that could because you're fearful, let them know, let your brain know to not go there. Fill it with a better thought. Inhale, open your right palm. Exhale, come into your peaceful warrior. So as you hold the peaceful warrior, your knee is stacked over the ankle, the right hand is reaching to the sky, left hand is going down your leg. What does peace mean to you? Peace is the removal of the blockages that we create because we've experienced something that causes us to be fearful. We want to be open so we can have more peace in our lives. Let's give this a nice deep breath. Very slowly bring that right hand all the way to the mat. Extend your left hand up to the sky. So take your right arm and your right leg and press them into one another so they can be a support for one another. See if you can bring that gaze up 
lifting through the crown of your head to lengthen your spine. Nice deep breath here. And then bring your left hand down. Come up on your left heel and reach your right hand up. Twisting here. Again, allowing your breath to just flow through all the different areas your body is holding right now. Every different move we make will find a new blockage that might be there. Give this a nice deep breath and then bring that right hand down and right foot back to meet left. Downward dog. Hold in the space. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, release. Release what you're holding on to that is not serving you. Let it go. And then inhale your left foot up. Exhale your left foot to the top of the mat between your hands, rising up to warrior two. The back heel is down. The left knee is stacked over the ankle. Your torso is straight up and down. Your gaze is forward. Your gaze is over your left middle finger. Find a positive thought and allow it into your mind. And remember, when your mind is reminding you of something that maybe was not pleasant, you have the power, the control to not allow that in. When the energy is changing and you notice it, breathe into that space and allow it to pass. Remember the gift that yoga gives you. Inhale. Exhale. Become a peaceful warrior. Holding here. Extending that right hand down your leg. Left hand reaching back. Gently bending into that left knee. Remember what peace is. Peace is free of blockages. Peace is open to all that life has to give us, not just the limited experiences that we have. Come into life with an open heart. Let's give this a nice deep breath. And then very slowly that left hand comes to the outside of the left foot. Extend, push the left hand into the leg. Have them support one another. Reach the right hand up to the sky. Maybe that gaze goes upward. Extend from the crown of your head, lengthening through your spine. Give this a nice deep breath. And then bring that right hand down. Come up on your right heel and extend your left hand up. Giving this a twist. So we're twisting. We're creating new avenues in the energy. We are all energy. Remember, yoga teaches us inward is where the work is. We don't need the outside confirmation from others, love from others, acceptance from others. We start from within. Give this a nice deep breath and then bring that left hand down. Come back into your downward dog. As you inhale, again, allow that breath to fill your space. And as you exhale, release and let go. Inhale, rise up on your toes. Bend your hips towards your heels and give it a walk or a hop to the top. Once you're there, hands on shins, halfway lift. Forward fold as you exhale and then rise all the way to standing. Reach that enlivened spine all the way up to the sky. And exhale to your heart. That wide open heart. That gift that yoga gives us to tune in. When we move our body, we create the space. We soften the muscles. We relax and release. So let's inhale those arms up. 
As you exhale, hinge from the hips forward. Inhale, hands on shins. Halfway lift. Exhale, walk or hop back. Lower all the way down. Inhale, lift your beautiful heart. Exhale, come into a down dog. One breath, one nice deep inhale. And release, release what's getting in your way for peace on the exhale. Inhale your right foot up. As you exhale, bring your right knee towards your right wrist and bring your left towards your left, your right foot towards your left wrist. Flex the toes, you're coming into a pigeon pose here. So use that left leg to help you center over your right leg. As you inhale, open that heart. Take a moment to acknowledge your heart is open and try what you can to make sure it doesn't close down. And then bow, bow into your pigeon this deep hip opener. Fill the space with your breath. Feel your hips release. In our hips, we hold a lot of things. Most are unpleasant experiences. And some of those come because we've chosen to create a blockage because we are not able to forgive someone. It doesn't serve you to hold on to those grudges. Forgiveness doesn't change the past, but it certainly changes the future. Take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, press yourself back to your hands. Tuck your left toes under. Lift your left knee off the mat. Bring your right foot back to meet your left. You're in a downward dog. Breathe into your pose. Taking a moment to bring your focus and your awareness inward. And then allow your breath to carry away anything that's not serving you. Inhale your left foot up. Exhale your left foot to the, to your, I'm sorry, exhale your left knee to, towards your left wrist, your left foot towards your right wrist. And then use that right leg to help you center, flexing the toes of your left foot, coming into this cozy pigeon pose. Again, hold and open your heart. Take a moment to understand what that means. Know that that means going through life, being aware you may be hurt at times with your heart, but it's worth it. Because think of all the things you would have missed out on that didn't hurt you. So with that in mind, give this a nice deep breath and then bow, bow into your pigeon. Allow the body to soften. Allow yourself to release anything that you're holding on to. Many of us hold on to things that happened in our past. They could have been yesterday, an hour ago, or it could have been many years. It doesn't serve us. If something is not happening directly in front of you, we really should not be reacting to it any longer. When you feel the energy change, when you feel it start to come back up. Let it, let it come up and go out 
by just reacting with your breath. Just take that moment, breathe, and know it will pass. So let's give this a nice deep inhale. Come up on your hands. And as you exhale, lift that right knee up and then come back into your downward dog. Breathe into this downward dog. Allow this space your body is holding to fill with breath. And as you exhale, come onto your knees, cross your ankles, and then shift your hips towards your heels and make your way all the way onto your back where we started. Drawing your knees in for a hug, as we did in the beginning, start those circles. So circle with those knees, allow all of the parts of your lower back to come in contact with the earth. Notice the energy in your body. Do you feel a shift from this short yoga practice? Reverse your circle. That shift is the gift of yoga. Yoga allows us to draw our awareness inward so we can calm the mind and do the work from the inside out. Draw those knees in for another hug. Flex your toes. Bring your nose towards your knees. Give this a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, release yourself into Shavasana. That final resting pose that allows our body to then recognize the change in the spaces we created. The blockages have moved. The energy is flowing through. And with that energy comes peace. Take as much time as you have to enjoy this peace. Bringing your palms to your forehead May the peace continue in your thoughts. Palms to your lips. May the peace continue with your words. Press the palms in your heart. Keep your heart open. It is worth it. The light in me honors, recognizes, and cherishes the light and the energy force that exists in each and every one of you. Namaste.